I'm Larry Anglosano from Aviation Consumer Magazine. Now, Lockheed Martin Flight Services got some new things going on, including a new data link service. It uses ACAS, that's the Adverse Condition Alerting System, to send short text messages to the cockpit. You'll need to have an Iridium-equipped modem in the cockpit, either portable or panel mount, to receive the text messages. Now, you can also send messages back down to Lockheed, including PIREPS. It's a more efficient way of getting PIREPS into the system. I recently caught up with Lockheed's Jim Dare at AirVenture 2014 to learn a little bit more about what Lockheed's doing. I'm here to talk to you for a few minutes about some of the new innovations that have uh, been coming about with Lockheed Martin Flight Services, uh, specifically the integration that now makes us really the only authorized and certified full service flight service uh, vendor for the FAA. So in that, as you've known over the past few years, we have actually been doing a lot of innovation online and working with a lot of partners such as the, uh, the adverse condition alerting uh, service that we have that allows you to know what exactly has changed since your your last briefing so that you don't have to necessarily remember to call in to ask that information from the specialist. Other items that have recently come into our system and we're working with other third-party vendors such as ForeFlight, who we have a partnership with, uh, is to be able to do things such as the next-gen briefing, which takes those very complicated briefing packages that can be 50, 60, 70, 80 pages long in a very prescriptive format and it allows it to be put into a plain text format also allows us to filter out a lot of information because, as you know, more information isn't necessarily better. The electronic PIREP submission can be accomplished through a variety of different uh, uh, devices. Um, right now, Honeywell Sky Connect is the primary device that is available and can make that connection right now. Other companies that are working on those capabilities to be able to connect using their internal Iridium modems inside are Delorum, uh, Spider Tracks, and Garmin. Those are the companies right now that we're working with and uh, doesn't preclude them from going through other mediums or other companies from joining us in this uh, in this PIREP submission quest. What you're looking at here is, the, is an example of the Aero V PIREP submission. And what's nice about this is the minimal amount of heads down time that is required for a pilot. This information here is provided automatically, such as the call sign and the type. That's automatically provided. Then it's as easy as touching buttons for the different types of conditions that you have. And what's interesting about this is, this is actually the first time this has ever been done. An electronic PIREP was submitted in flight here on the 23rd, um, and it came through, and you can see it right Right here, it actually went into the system, and you can you can see that pi rep that went into the, into the system. So the beauty of Surveillance Enhanced Search and Rescue, or SE SAR, it's a capability that is in the system now where a pilot can select, can choose for us to be able to track them via their Iridium-based device, such as Spider Tracks, Delorum, uh, Honeywell Sky Connect, uh, Garmin. And when they do that, if they have the opportunity, they can go ahead and issue, during the route of flight, they can issue an emergency SOS. At that point, that information comes down to our system, and our special are alerted and it comes up on their screen. And they can begin uh, search and rescue protocols as normal immediately, rather than waiting for 30 minutes at the end of your flight. So if you actually have to ditch at this point here, the system, by protocol, will not be looking for you until a half hour after your estimated time of arrival. Obviously, that reduces the overall area that has to be searched for you in that critical moment when you need, uh, when you need help. Well, coming soon is going to be a uh, a capability which we think is really, really going to be helpful to the pilot. It is the when to leave chart. And this is really simple. It, it lays out a time scale here. And um, whether it's, a v, it's a VFR, marginal, or IFR, and you can pick that time slot of when to launch your aircraft. Critical to know when you should leave. And as usual, if you have any more questions, you can always contact Lockheed Martin at 1-800-WEATHERBRIEF.COM or 1-800-WEATHERBRIEF on the phone, and we'd be happy to help you. Now, for more on Lockheed's data link service, you can read the September 2014 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.